hello guys welcome to coding cafe so till now as you know that we have uh, completed the c sharp console application concepts and we have implement the object oriented programming whole concepts in c sharp language using visual studio so from this tutorial onward uh, i mean in the up till up to the upcoming uh, two or three video tutorials we will learn about the basics of windows form applications or you can say the desktop applications and we will implement and we will create some forms and after that we will create some uh, cool app or you can say a mega project in which we will develop a cool desktop application but first we have to learn some basics about the uh, windows form applications so in this video tutorial what we are going to do is to create just a simple sign in form or you can say the login form a user will enter his uh, user id and after that the user must enter his password and if we click on this reset then it will reset or you can say clear the whole form so let me write the user id and then the password now the user can simply click on this login and it will go to the other form which will say hello world and also let me tell you if i enter the user id and then password then I can simply click on the enter button and it will log me in into the main app I mean without pressing the login button since you guys uh, already see these things nowadays okay so now the next thing is once you log in into the main form here you can see uh, this message where it says hello world so if I click on this set button then it says hello world again and if I click on this cancel button then it says text has been cancelled so in this way, I mean, this is just a basic form uh, just to understand and learn about the basics of Windows Form application. So we will implement that. Okay. And then if a user click on this logout button, then it will log us out and it will send us to the login form or you can say to the sign up form, sign in form. So open Visual Studio and here you can see create new project. So you can simply click on that and this window will appear. You can also simply click here on this file, click new and click project. Then it will open the same window here you can see visual visual c sharp you can simply click on that and here we have this windows form app dot net framework and here you can see the name so you can give any name to your app you want i will give it a name as vp f1 and then you can simply click ok and you can see it is going to create a project by this name for us So you can see that our project is launched successfully and this is our form 1 which is created for the first time which is form 1.cs and he here it is our project name which is vp app 1 and inside that we have our project files and first of all uh, for now it have only the one form which is form 1.cs so the next thing which we are going to do is to add a label and buttons on this form 1 so here you can see this toolbox option click on that and this will appear so from here you can simply write l a b and this will appear and let's say if this toolbox option is not available here then you can also click on this view and from here you can see this toolbox click on that and this is our toolbox so now drag and drop this level from here and now we need a button so you can simply type here button and then drag and drop this button from here so yeah that's it for now and now let's give name to our these levels so here you can see we have this properties a window here okay a small window first of all make sure to click on this a to z which is basically ascending order so that we can find uh, the properties of a specific field in alphabetic orders okay so that we can find basically easily everything so now the next thing is to give name to our this you can simply click here and then here you can see this uh, property will appear that the first one is the name so make sure to give it a name we, we can give it a name as lbl help and then press enter so this is the name for our level one and then we have our this button so first let give it this a name so the name of our this button will be btn set then press enter by using this name we can access this button okay and if you uh, scroll down here then here we have this text so let's give a uh, text to this button so we can give it a um, text as set okay and also if you want then you can increase the text size 
and color from here for now I will just uh, click here on this font you can see this click here and from here you can uh, choose any text you want I will choose impact then you can uh, choose the bold or any I mean from here okay and then you can also uh, choose the text size you want click OK and here you can see now we can increase the size of this button so this is our set button and now we need another one so copy paste this okay control C and then control V and now first of all make sure to change the name of this second button to btn cancel and also now let's change the text for this button so we can give it a name as cancel so this is our cancel button and now click here copy paste this button and now let's create a logout button here first let's uh, change this text to logout and then come here above and make sure to change the name of this to btn btn logout so yeah that's it and if you want to uh, increase the font size uh, size of this level then you can come here and here you can see this font click here and let's change the font size for this to 36 and you can change this to Arial or whatever the style you want okay so this is our level one and we have given it a name and we can now access that so what we want that if a, uh, whenever we uh, run the app or you can say whenever our app starts then on the form load it should uh, it should change this level one text to hello world so what we're gonna do is you can simply click on this form okay double click on that and it will open this uh, form one dot cs and here it will create this event listener for you which is form one underscore load now what basically this form one underscore load is so this form one is our this whole form if i show you click here uh, once okay and come here above and here you can see this is the name of our this form which is form one and it basically means that whenever we run the app dot load uh, underscore load means that whenever the form loads then it should do something then we can access our label hello dot text equal inside this quotation I can simply write hello world and then put semicolon now press control f5 and now let's run the app and here we go here you can see that level one is changed change to hello world now the next uh, thing which you want to do is that is whenever the user click on this set button then it should change this text to anything else let's say hello world again or anything so go to the form and here we have this set button double click on this set button and you can see button set underscore click okay so inside here we can say label hello dot text equals to then inside this quotation we can say hello world again then put a semicolon here and now let's run the app press ctrl f5 okay so now if i click on this set then you can see it says hello world again again now the next thing which we want to do is when a user click on this cancel button then it should display here that is uh, text has been cancelled so let's do that so go to the form and here we have this cancel button double click on that and you can see button cancel underscore click and these are the some parameters and now here we can say lbl hello dot text equals to text has been cancelled so whenever a cancel button is clicked it should display this okay it should change the label hello to this text so now press ctrl f5 and now let's run the app so here you can see it is hello world if I click on cancel button it says text has been cancelled if I click on set button it says hello world again again so in this way the whole uh, thing is working so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will uh, work on this logout button and we will create a login form in the next video and we will uh, complete the second task in the next video tutorial which is the login form so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now